such a person, a, an eminent person, is talking without facts. So you don't challenge a person like that. It's like they steer the honestness. You, you understand me? And the government has reacted by publishing, but, uh, publishing those names. Uh, well, but this issue is beyond the political elite. You can't begin to uh, you know, play politics with the commonwealth of our people. Now that this information is in the public domain, we, want to, we should go ahead to test the veracity of the statement. It was our commonwealth actually looted. Those persons whose names have been, have been binded about should also come out and insist on the trial process so that to clear yeah, their but names. It's not the first time that uh, <clears throat> most, some of these names have been mentioned as uh, people <clears throat> who perpetrated some level of corruption and looted the treasury. <clears throat> Do you see this taking us to a next level where we will go to court, for instance? Have of course. Cases I see that. I see that happening. Now that government, because the credibility and the image of the government is at stake, haven't made this kind of you know very serious allegations. I expect a very serious-minded government to go a step higher. But you have, you have cases like uh, the NSA, the former NSA, uh, Dasuki, whose case has been in court for how long now? Yeah. And you, do, you, do you expect that this one will actually go through and with meaningful results at the end of the day, we'll see actual prosecutions? Or I, I, think, I think I'm optimistic. I think, again, you have to look at it from the perspective of the strategy of this government. Mm -hmm. What this government has been doing all along is yeah. to ensure that some well, that's recovery... Just, that's all. We'll come to that. Okay. Let, let's let Mr. Okay. Igwabo also respond to the first part, which is some say in the context of government letting the people know who perhaps they suspect or they have cases within court and then they publish this list. In that context or whichever context you want to look at it, do you see anything wrong with that list? Well, my first reaction is to say that government itself does not believe in our justice system. Why would you say that? They don't believe in the justice system because since 1999, there are some cases that have been in court over corruption matters and in particular, since this government came on stream in 2015, there are several cases in court. Is that a function of the executive or that's the headache of the judiciary? The judiciary is an arm of government. Okay, so you're looking at it in that so context. I'm saying to you that except the government has no more faith in our justice system, releasing these names at this time for me, it's a campaign thing. The campaign has started. Because challenged or not, I can't challenge you and you are, for, you, you are forced to do the wrong thing. I mean, if people have been investigated, indicted, and arraigned in court, we must wait it out. Yes, you can quarrel with the process. It is slow and it is, you can describe it in all kinds of ways. But except the court makes pronouncements of guilt or acquittal, I do not think that these Nigerians will buy this. So if I could pick up on what you said, you know, initially when you say government don't believe in the judicial system. Yeah, and then in you the say justice it, system, yes. And then you say it's slow. So No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying to you that look, it is not today that, like he said just now, it is not today that they have started talking about looters, that they looted the country blind. Nobody likes to, to know that uh, somebody was appointed into office and took uh, on due advantage to, to, to make, make away with uh, public funds. What are the steps that have been taken thus far to redress this, this simple issue of trial and conviction. Okay. Mr. Shitu, before now there was a court judgment that asked the federal government to publish the names of those who they said stole from the public treasury mm -hmm. and made the, and I think that court judgment says, mention their names and how much they took and how much they returned to the federal government. Do you think this is in line with that court judgment? Because this doesn't say anything about what was returned. Uh, well, uh, there's a way in which one could also argue that this may be a reaction to that uh, the compliance with that order. But you see, but the, the sequence of events may not really agree with that conclusion. Even the fact that you know there was a statement, a, 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 a categorical statement from the vice president, 
you know, reeling out that our economy was, uh, you know, looted blind without mentioning names. And uh, the PDP national, uh, national publicity secretary came on here to say, oh, this is not, why should the, the, the vice president should not be making, you saw, you saw the clip and that they should, uh, they, they should mention specific what names. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm just saying that we should look at the chain of events no, that, that led to this. That challenge from the PDP uh, policy secretary, does that take away from the fact that an order was given by the court to publish the names of those who took money and returned. I, th I believe that's the order of the court. Yes, yes. So does that take away from that order? It does not take well, Once any order is made, it becomes an order. So how is it that that order was not followed through and then instead another a, a response is being made to a challenge, which is not a court order? Well, that you, you could fault. You could fault because you can't stop politicians from playing politics. You understand me? That is why I said my own perspective as a lawyer is that the reputations are involved here. We have a process, a judicial process in place, a judicial arm that is statute and constitutionally charged with the responsibility for adjudication. Uh, I think right now is what, what Nigerians should insist upon. It's a full tri blown trial process. We should insist upon this. We want to know. It is not enough for APC or PDP to be uh, to, to be engaging in allegations and counter allegations. We are, we are talking of our common way there. We are talking of reputations there. Yeah. If I were accused of having looted the country as a person, I would be more concerned if I know I'm innocent to to insist that uh, they, they, I should be tried so that I can clear my name. So beyond what we are talking about, individuals whose names have been mentioned with specific you know, figures uh, uh, attributed to their names. This is not a, this is not a, a trivial matter. 